Hi Sagittarius! Welcome to your August 1st through the 15th of 2018 tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot where we're going down the rabbit hole and into Wonderland. So welcome. Um, we're going to be using the Tarot in Wonderland and the Wonderland Tarot and the Vintage Oracle today. I did want to let you know that I have more options for private readings. My 40 minute readings are on sale right now for $20 and I also am going to be offering a VMO pay-per-view. We're going to have career, single, and couple readings and they're all going to be $4.99. Um, I don't have them up while I'm recording this but I will have them up before August the 1st. Um, so that's really exciting. Now let's get started. What is the central theme of Sagittarius's reading today? Central theme of Sagittarius's reading today. Release. Releasing the past. That's the central theme. What's going on in Sagittarius' internal world? What's going on in Sagittarius' head? Three cards for what's going on in Sagittarius' head. I went three, not 20. <laughs> There's a two. All right, one more for what's going on in Sagittarius' head. One more for what's going on. Okay. Three. Right, the first one that we have is the moon reversed. And the moon is all about fantasy and illusion and addiction um, being manipulated by the moon. See we have the walrus and the carpenter and they're taking the little oysters off to sea and the oysters think that they're going on some magical ride but really the walrus and the carpenter are going to eat them. Um, so be careful. There's nightmares here. There's uh, imagination running wild. The moon is the center of lunacy lunatics so this is lunacy this is the card of lunacy um, wrong turns addictions um, not using your intuition okay, and then we have the five of swords and the queens all like off with their heads <laughs> you know so we have the five of the swords here and this is conflict tension, loss, betrayal, criminal violence, abuse, major loss, a no-win situation. So this is like a major loss, major loss. And uh, that's the card of Aquarius. So, so far we have Pisces, Cancer, Aquarius. And then we have the Empress, but she's in the reverse. So when the Empress reverses, there's a lack of growth here. There's being unproductive. There's a lack of stability, a lack of development. It's just a bad time. A poor self-image. So you have like low self-esteem, poor self-image, neglecting yourself, immaturity, lethargy, being lazy, manipulative, overeating. So internally, you're not in a very good place. Why is the moon here? All right, so we have the nine of flamingos, which is the card of depression. Uh, look at how like, ah, too much is going on. Too many painful lessons around me. Too much is going on. I can't take it anymore. You see that guy? Ah, I can't take it. I can't take it. Too much is going on. So you're escaping into a fantasy land. You're, you're allowing yourself to be manipulated by the moon. Why is the five of swords here? All right, so we have the seven of peppermills. So with the seven of peppermills, there's too many challenges being thrown your way. Uh, you may feel like you're struggling to stay on top. You've been taking on too much. 
you have to defend your reputation. Uh, you feel like you're under a constant state of attack. Why is the Empress reversed here? The Eight of Flamingos in reverse. So this is about self-acceptance, freedom, finding a way out, accepting yourself the way that you are. We're using three different decks, by the way, if you're confused. All right, so what's going on? Three cards for Sagittarius, this home and family life, please. One more card for Sagittarius, this home and family life. All right, the first thing we have is the Two of Swords in the reverse. So this is confusion, information overload. You just, you can't take it anymore. There's too much information coming your way and you're just like, eh, I can't take it all. And then we have judgment in the reverse. This is refusing to listen to your intuition, refusing to listen to the truth, poor judgment, irresponsibility, bragging, boasting, and unfair treatment. And then we have the Page of Pentacles. And this is manifestation of a new financial opportunity, thinking long term, getting off to a good start by doing the necessary groundwork, setting goals, thinking proactively, um, taking calculated risks, making money work for you. Okay. Why is the Two of Swords here? All right, the Queen of Flamingos in the reverse. So um, this is the Ice Queen. This She speaks her mind. Uh, truth is like the utmost importance. She's the boss. She's integrity. She's intelligent. She's sharp. She's honest. She's a problem solver. She's an organizer. She takes initiative. She takes feelings into consideration when making decisions. She tells you to be free, be single, be independent. Why is judgment here? I have the seven of oysters in the reverse. So this is a lack of long-term vision, limited rewards or success. Why is the page of pentacles here? The will of fortune in reverse, bad luck, karma's coming back to get you, challenges, delays. It's not a good time to start new things. The past is haunting you. All right, so what's going on with Sagittarius' money? Three cards for Sagittarius' money. Man, that King of Wands came out every single reading so far. entrepreneur. We have a natural born leader, dynamic, dependable, admirable, energetic. He thinks big. Um, he comes up with a new plan, new ideas, and he puts them into action. He puts thoughts into action. We have strength. So this is inner strength, purity of motives, control over desire, passion, 
We have the Ace of Swords, a breakthrough in a situation, new plan, new ideas, clarity of thought, a new outlook in life, new mindset, uh, new news coming in. So money's looking good for you, Sag, Sagittarius. Okay, so why is the King of Wands here? Why is the King of Wands here? It's curiouser and curiouser. Why is the King of Wands here? Contrary wise, we have the ace of pepper mills in the reverse. So there's delays, a lack of motivation. Why is strength here? All right, so we have the eight of pepper mills in the reverse. So there's delays, frustration, holding off. So that's why you need to channel your inner strength. Why is the ace of swords here? So we have the Ten of Flamingos in the reverse. So there's a release from pain, a light at the end of the tunnel, new beginnings, which harpers back to temperance, the card of Sagittarius, which is all about new beginnings. Light at the end of the tunnel. All right, three advice cards for Sagittarius, please. Two more. Two more, okay. One more advice card for Sagittarius. Perfect. Thank you. All right, so we're going to start here at the beginning because that's the best place to start. We have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. So when the Ace of Wands reverses, there is a delay, a lack of motivation. We have the tower reverse, so there was some damage control. There's rebuilding after a disaster. There's um, salvaging what's left after a disaster. You got out of the way, you had an advanced morning of change. And then we have the emperor reverse, and this is the card of narcissism. This is anger issues, irresponsibility, impatience, not taking responsibility, selfishness, greed, being unhelpful, preying on the misery of others, leaves when you need them the most. This is a villain. This is um, a sense of entitlement, um, not cut out for the job, out of date, vulnerable and exposed, being on guard, enemy, the card of narcissism, anarchy, betrayal, uh, not heeding advice, a hard task manager, just a very unsavory fellow. The dodo is a very unsavory fellow. Maybe the dodo eats your baby. All right, so why is the Ace of Wands here? Why is, okay, so we have the Empress. And the Empress is a domestic goddess. Um, she's creative, she's productive, she's an incubation period, she's a me time. She, a baby takes nine months to incubate in the womb and that's what she stands for. Why is the tower in reverse here? All right, so we have the five of hats. So this would be sadness, loss, regret, um, feeling cut off from life. Why is the emperor in reverse here? Emperor in reverse. Okay, so we have justice. <laughs> Look at the scales on his feet. He kind of looks like the hanged man, doesn't he? But no, this is justice. And uh, he's in the upright, even though he's standing on his head, uh, balancing the scales of justice on his feet. He is a Libra. He's exactly where you deserve to be. He's the laws of karma, justice. He's legal matters, home establishment, pure motives and intentions, um, contracts, documents, a judge, a lawyer, a solicitor. Be careful if you're dealing with a lawyer or a judge, 
They could potentially be a narcissist. They might be dangerous. There's a potential that they would be dangerous. Don't trust them. Um, narcissists are superficially charming, meaning that they're fake. Use your intuition. All right, so what is going on in Sagittarius's romantic and social life? What's going on in Sagittarius's romantic and social life? Three cards for Sagittarius's romantic and social life. Two more Sagittarius's romantic and social life. Two more. Okay, so that. Right, one more for Sagittarius's romantic and social life. One more. The Hierophant in reverse. The Cheshire Cat is the Hierophant. All right, so the Hierophant is tradition, it's legacy, it's education, it's a counselor. Um, the Cheshire Cat told Alice all of the inner workings of Wonderland, um, a teacher, and doing what everyone else expects of you. We have the Five of Pentacles. Ooh. This is scandal, loss, asking for help, feeling left out in the cold, a social outcast. We have the chariot in reverse. So there's lack of self-discipline, loss of direction, emotional outbursts, car problems, wearing a mask to hide emotions, overreactions, being overwhelmed. So socially, you're, you're trying to do what everyone else wants you to do, but it's not working. You're becoming a social outcast. Why is the hair font here? All right, so we have the nine of pepper. We have the nine of pepper mills in the reverse. Um, so there's being on edge, defensive, paranoid. Why is the five of pentacles here? I have the three of hats in the reverse. Um, so this is an affair, three's the crowd. Your creativity isn't what it used to be. Why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here? It's because of the chariot. The chariot reverse is here because of the chariot in reverse. I got the same exact card, which is all about loss of control, lack of self-discipline. So yeah, um, it just means that this is what it is. The chariot in reverse and the chariot in reverse. There is no clarifying that, it just is. It's cancer energy. Um, be careful of food poisoning. Be careful of your car. Go get your car inspected. Um, you could be having car problems. It's uh, relationships being stuck in a rut. Uh, letting go. Giving up. Emotional outbursts. Being manipulative. Um, hoarding. Being easily offended. So what's going on with Sagittarius's career? Three cards for Sagittarius's career. One, two more. No, that's not it. Okay. 
you. All right, so the first one that we have is the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is being constantly on guard. You're the battle-weary soldier. This is your energy. You're physically tired, exhausted. Um, you need to say no and delegate tasks. And then we have the world. And the world is like if you're a kindergartner, you go through school and you're in 12th grade and you graduate. It's the end of a cycle. It's completion. You're the graduate. Alice becomes the queen of Wonderland here. Lasting success, perfection, attainment, uh, awards, praise, coming full circle. And we have the Six of Swords, which is a rite of passage. But it's not easy. <laughs> Not at all. It's moving away from conflict, distancing yourself from bad situations, escaping abusive situations, returning to life after trauma, a rite of passage, regretful but necessary transition. All right. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Why is the Nine of Wands here? All right, so the Queen of Hats, she's very emotional. Again, we have this Cancer energy. That's a, that's a theme throughout here, is this Cancer energy. Uh, so you might be dealing with a Cancer person or something that happened during Cancer season. So we have the Queen of Hats. And the Queen of Hats is developing psychic abilities, totally absorbed with her creation, seems otherworldly at times, detached. She's emotional, loving, happy, sensitive, a healer, beautiful, kind, following her heart. She goes with the flow. She learns to listen. She meditates. She daydreams. She takes trips towards near water. Why is the world here? Right, the High Priestess. The High Priestess sits between two pillars, one marked B and one marked J, which stands for Bohaz and Hakim, which in English translates to strength and unity. She holds the Torah in her lap, which is the secrets of the subconscious mind. Um, normally she has the moon at her feet, but in this particular card she doesn't. Instead we have the water in the back, which represents the emotions, and she's in full control of her emotions. Um, she is the subconscious mind. She is the higher self. She's deep feeling. She is the need to go deeper for answers not everything is obvious at first glance she forms plans she dreams big she's possibility she's potential and she's a pisces all right so why is the six of swords here all right so we have the page of oysters in the reverse so the page of oysters is news of money um he uh is a solid grounded start He's goal setting. He forms logical working plans. But there's some uh, definite controversy here between the Six of Swords and the Page of Oysters because one is all about movement and change and one is very grounded and hates change. So this is controversy right there. There is some conflict, and justice just spun around on its own. I swear to God, it was doing it on its own the whole time. Um, so there's some sort of injustice with your career. All right, is there any other advice for Sagittarius? Any other advice? Okay. Abundance. So you do have the ability for financial abundance. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for joining me today. Um, if you would like a private reading, like I said, there are a few different options available to you. My 40-minute readings are on sale right now 
for $20, which is a bargain. And then um, I'm going to be having VMO ratings, $4.99. I record them and I put them up so if you resonate with this and you don't want to spend $20 you can spend $4.99 for pay-per-view and I'll send you the link to those I haven't I don't have them um, recorded as of today the 21st but I should have them recorded by the 1st of August so that is definitely an option for you um, I have it all written in the description box below. Thank you again for joining me today. Have a wonderful day, Sagittarius.